So the torrential rain has passed and the sun has arrived. And I'm gonna let the horses out. Beautiful day. I'm gonna let the horses out now, but they're gonna have to come in tonight again because there's gonna be a huge storm coming. It doesn't have a name yet, but it'll have a name soon enough. These guys are probably having such a lovely time being so cozy in here. Come on, girls and boys. Or no, you're all girls. Having a lovely time up there. Beautiful day. Now I've got to go close the gate on them so they don't come back down again. <laughs> I keep adding to my wall here, but the birds, there's a particular blackbirds, come and flick these over looking for insects. So I don't know how this is going to survive or if it's going to survive because the blackbirds keep coming and flipping these over. Uh, I straightened it out, so the blackbirds evidence is gone. Next time they do it, I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about. They flick these over. Oh, that one I didn't put back correctly. There. And they flip them over looking for the grubs underneath. So hopefully this will survive and take, but it might be a lot of work. Anyway, the horses are all happy. Come on, pups. Come on. Come on. Come on. Good dogs. Clever pups. Yes. Oh, look. A morning roll. Ooh. And a good shake. Just what a horse loves after spending the night inside. Oh, there goes the other one. Ishka was checking if the gate was closed or not. Look, you still have daisies blooming. This is November, getting towards the mid of November. And we still have daisies, which is good for those pollinators who come out and about in the winter, like honeybees. If it's warm enough, honeybees will come out and eat the pollen. But the other good thing about this is, this late in the season, is that when the pollinators pollinate the, pollinate these daisies, and then their seed heads, that means the development of the seed heads later in winter, that birds get to eat the seeds. So it's kind of a good thing. Always to see these evening primroses, there's a few still pollinating here, but these long shafts are full of seeds for birds to eat. So, all oh goodness, all oh goodness. This Gilda Rose didn't uh, bloom today, so there were no, uh, this year, so there were no um, berries, but hopefully next year it will bloom and there will be berries in it. It's that much bigger. This is getting so beautiful and it's getting more and more plants and herbs and everything's growing so fantastically. Yay! I love it when things work the way you hope they will.
Leon is at work. Now he's having a bite to eat. Yeah, this is Leon right there. He's the ram. Checking and inspecting his flock in between taking a bite to eat. The ladies are all eating behind us in there. And the sun is going behind the clouds. Still a beautiful dry day so far after this morning's rain. Anyway, I thought I would take you into our little bit of woods here. There's a little gate over here that uh, is only for humans. Sheep don't go in and out. So to them, it's just a bit of the fence line, but it blends right in. Very primitive structure in that the best part to hold it is this bit of twine because the um, bolt, the fence post has gone that way, so the bolt doesn't lock anymore. Come on, pups, come on. Come on, come on. Good dogs. The sheep are beginning to make their way out from eating to um, have a sup of water. to their meal. The willow looks so much better without the fencing stuff around it now, which is really, really nice. Still hunting for that yo there that's got her nose on the ground. She's still looking for horse chestnuts to eat. The sheep love horse chestnuts and we're right underneath a horse chestnut tree. So they snuffle around like truffle pigs looking for any horse chestnuts that might have been missed by the flock. No such luck, huh, ladies? So we're on the other side of the gate now. And here's a little bit of our beech woods. In the spring, you can see it'll be covered in horse parsley and snowdrops and bluebells and all kinds of things. But what's so gorgeous this time of year is the upper story. You can look out into the field now from the woods. This will all be snowdrops and bluebells and cow parsley. And this holly I've been encouraging to grow. But what's really lovely is, what's really lovely, okay, this will all be kindling. 
but what's really lovely is lying down on the ground like this, flat against the ground, so you can't see me. I'm looking up at the trees <laughs> and have puppies climb all over you. It's really, really beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> the only problem is having dogs, they all come and want to climb over you and lick your face and think something's wrong. <laughs> so, so much for my woodland bathing. <laughs> See all the dogs that go. <laughs> so I can't do woodland bathing. <laughs> walk work with a pack of dogs <laughs> anyway I'm gonna um, turn this around <laughs> see what I mean <laughs> oh lord yes hello I love you too yes <laughs> you're gonna get down you just the puppy job is just saying this is so much fun you're at my height now Come on, you can jump down. Good boy. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna turn this video around so you can see what I was looking at when I was lying down without the dogs. <laughs> oh Lord. <laughs> There's no help for it. <laughs> if I lie down, I have dogs on top of me. But look at that. Isn't that just beautiful? Gorgeous. surrounded by my dogs chewing sticks chasing bowls they've found a bowl the sheep are out there but in the autumn that is glorious and as the sun comes out it's even better Where are they? Oh, there they are. Well, these guys have it really good. They have a bale of hay, water, shelter. And a lean to trees for the tonight's coming wind and rainstorm. So, lucky boys. I'll probably bring the uh, lambs in later. Uh, I can't move the flocks that are breeding. Those two are hunting mice in the straw. I'm going to be bringing the lambs in. Oven is in for a surprise when the lambs come in. Yeah! Yeah! Hey, kitty! The cats all think they have this area all to themselves, but I've got the lambs coming in for the night because of the storm. I've got to go up here now. The horses are anticipating coming in. I'm going to bring them in now because them stampeding down might give the lambs a bit of a fright because they come stampeding down this laneway here when I let them out. Let's see if the blackbirds have left my moss and um, succulents alone. Are you coming, girls? All ready to go. They're realizing now this is the gate to come out of. Oh, uh, they've done a bit of picking. Yeah, there's a bit of picking. What do you want? What do you want? Mm. What do you want? You're going to get out of the way.
Janie Mac. <laughs> We're all nearly stampled. Yeah, the excitement of it. Come on, this way. Come on. I've got to close gates because with the winds that are coming, high winds, I don't want the gates banging open. So I better go close the, their gates now so that they're locked in Come there. Come on, Miss Daisy Rose. Go inside. Good dogs. No, you're not dogs. You're horses. God. I am going silly. I am going silly. Calling my horses dogs. Anyway, I'm going to go get the lambs now. So, mustard and oven mitt are here with the cats. The ears have all been fed. These guys have not been fed and they're going like, what? Why haven't you fed us yet? Well, my loverlies, you're going into the shed for the night. Too many big trees with high winds. I just have to have fingers crossed that the yos with rams are all okay. So, let's see if you're going to follow me if I go up the hill. <laughs> Ebony's going to go. Well, that's relatively easy. Now they're wolfing down the apples. So, if I open this gate, I'm wondering if they're going to come. Hey, babies! Come on! Woo! Come on! Woo! Come on! Brindle! 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 Come back here. Come on! Brindle! Come back here. <laughs> running and eating an apple. Brindle, get back! You guys, go on. 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 Okay, everybody's in, everybody's in. I'll let them all eat. Close these gates. Hey Brindle, get out, out, good girl. There, and I'll come back later and lock them in there. As you saw earlier, Ovenment got out of his bed, so he's not gonna have a shock of being surrounded by alpaca and sheep. He's already awake. Come on, pup. Come on, we gotta go close gates. Come on. Come on, Inca. Come on. She's like, why? We're not done here yet. Come on. Are you coming? Come on. Good girl. Come on. Come on. Come on. Good dog. Okay, close gates now. Uh.
fell in the mud. Happy sheep having a bite to eat. They'll be fine in this field with the storm. There's lots of trees around, but there's enough space that they can get out of the way if a tree falls in the high winds. There might be a lot less color in the beech trees come morning or later tomorrow. Hey Maya, how are you? Clever pup. Yeah. I sit on this. Hello you, hello you, oh, hello you. Oh, you wanna climb up? You wanna climb up? Come on, come on. <laughs> I have her under my arm. There we go, a puppy on my lap. Some of the best things in life is having a puppy on your lap. <laughs> yeah. 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 Ooh, Maya, don't. It's not yours to, it's their food and you're sharing it. Be nice. Maya, be nice. <laughs> Going underneath the sheep. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. I just said, okay. <laughs> And that was all that was needed. Inca said, that's it. I want to eat my bit of share, share of the sheep food. <laughs> and off they all went. Okay, two hands to do this gate. So, uh, hey guys, the sun's really going down. You got to go into your shed now. No, I should have come back earlier. Uh, Nope, nope, nope. Come on. Come on. Get back in the shed. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Come on. Come on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Good girls. There we go. Now, you guys are in here. You have hay, you have water, and big old trees aren't gonna blow down on top of you with these 100 mile an hour winds that are coming or 100 kilometer an hour winds. We might not get the storm, but we might. So I'm just playing it safe. So lambs, alpaca, horses, and the aunties are all in. Isn't that right? Yes. Okay. See you all tomorrow. It's already getting dark. So uh, they'll all be cozy in there and there's plenty of room. They're all just crowded around the gates because they want to get out. But there's loads of room. 
all in here and there's water down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, sorry. Come on. Come on, pups. Come on. Come on, Maya. Come on, Java. Come on, Inca. Come on. Come on, pups. Come on. <laughs> Maya's having a hard time escaping. <laughs> Good boy. Come on. Come on, Java. Come on. I'm not closing the gate until you get out. Good boy. Hello, kitty. Uh. How are you? You beautiful kitty. Yes. You beautiful kitty. Oh, don't bite me. Don't bite me. I know it's a love bite. But still, don't bite me. Yes. Okay, everybody. Uh, See you tomorrow. Are you going to cross the gate? Are you going to do the tightrope walk? <laughs> Clever kitty. Yeah. Uh, okay. Good night this time. Goodbye for the night.